So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the Pilot Parallel Calligraphy Pen. The Parallel is actually a set of calligraphy pens. We'll focus just on this one to avoid any confusion, but it's a pretty interesting set. It's very affordable. Uh, they sell the pens for about maybe seven, eight dollars each for I think about $23 you could buy a set of four or five, something like that. And there's a, a set of widths they're sold in. It starts at uh, about 1.5 millimeters and it goes up from there. This model right here, as you can see, is a 2.4 millimeter. And they all use this sort of sandwiched steel nib. You can see it's two parts and the ink flows through there, like in the middle, as opposed to flowing through a slit or like a tine or anything like that in the top. It's a, a 2.4 millimeter nib. Uh, more popular version is the 1.5 probably and it's sold up to, I wanna say six millimeters. Uh, this one's kind of bleeding a little ink. That's easy enough to fix. And uh, they have some pretty interesting ink, which we will look at in a few minutes. But this is the Pilot Parallel. It's pretty simple, right? It's a plastic body. It's extended, kind of like a art style pen. Screw on cap, all plastic except for the steel nib. It's clear here, so you can kind of see what's going on if your feed is fully saturated. There is a plastic bit here, which is essentially the nib holder. Uh, but you don't swap the nibs on this. You have different pens. The, uh, sorry about that. So it says pilot there. And then uh, right here, it says the size of the pen. So in this case, 2.4 millimeters. It's really not much to design. You see a little breather hole there. Then there's the nib. It's kind of, it looks a little bit like a scalpel and it is, it is a little sharp on the corners. Not like you're gonna cut yourself, but you do have to be careful with your paper. And if you open it up, you can see it uses a Pilot proprietary ink cartridge. But the ink this uses is a blendable art ink. It's not the ink you would use with a standard Pilot pen, even though the uh, cartridges are compatible. And uh, when you buy the pens, you get some of these ink colors and they're blendable. So if you don't wanna use a, a red, you wanna make your own red black, you can definitely do that. And uh, there's a couple other colors, green, blue, red, what have you. And then you have this sort of cleaning tool. And uh, because you might wanna be changing your colors a lot and you might wanna also use your 2.4 and blue and then move in red without blending, you use this to kind of flush water through there and really quickly clean out your pen the way we would do with a uh, one of those blue cleaning bulbs that we talk about so often when cleaning fountain pens. The cap is really simple. There's no clip because you don't need to, or most people won't need to uh, walk around with your calligraphy pen, you know, clipped to your pocket or something like that. But there is a roll stop and you see the indicator here. So you could just screw it in and put it down there. It's a really simple pen, works really well. One of the nice things about this is it does, when the cap goes on, it is uh, really nicely sealed. So you could put this down and pick it up, uh, you know, a month later, and there might be some ink drops kind of floating around, but I've never seen a leak and I've never seen it dry out. Pilot is really good at that. And you know, if you have a Pilot Varsity or a, a V pen, you could put those things down after starting writing with them, put them down for six months and you come back and it writes just like as if you had left it an hour before. I guess we'll show the sample right here. So this is a 2.4 millimeter pen. I'm obviously not, calligraphy is not my strong suit. So uh, bear with me with the artwork and just go by what someone that's capable could do, not my uh, you know crazy drawings. So we see the ink, this is a, a uh, blanking, this is a Rhodia paper. So it's a good fountain pen paper, but not really an arty paper. So you do see some bleeding there on that P. And then uh, the lines obviously interrupt the flow of the ink. So you see, you can probably just make out like here and here, there's some light spots where the grid messes up the ink color, but you wouldn't, generally do your calligraphy on a paper like this. It's just expedient for me. So this is the,
pilot. Parallel, and this is the 2.4 millimeter. Again, there's a 1.5 millimeter, and then a 3.8, and then I think it goes all the way up to six millimeters width. So you're looking at a pretty serious ink uh, as far as the amount of ink that goes down. Pretty serious nib. So uh, the the key to this nib, again, it has that sort of flat sandwich design. And, uh, sorry about that. Basically, it allows you to write in a few different ways. I wouldn't say I'm a calligraphy expert, but I could definitely figure this out. You can go sideways, as if you're writing with a stub, or it's broad. You can go down. Or you can even write with a corner. This isn't ideal because it isn't quite sharp, but it is possible. You also write in a sort of italic manner, right? You can go straight up and down to get a full broad, or you could just write at an angle. And that is, you know, it's a little bit tricky to do, it takes some getting used to, but what you're doing here is you're modulating your width. Key is using the design of the nib to your advantage, which isn't really my strong suit, but it doesn't stop me from enjoying playing with these pens and trying to improve on that. And it's really nice to do with the parallel because it's just a well-behaved pen and it's quite affordable. Like I said, this one with some ink cost me under $10. So if you were just trying to figure out what's the deal with calligraphy pens, why, like what is a 2.4 millimeter nib feel like and you want to do it with a really simple easy to jump in pen that's really well behaved then i really like the pilot parallel series and you can buy them as a kit like i said i think that's four pens for 23 dollars. it's a really nice starting point i don't really do the calligraphy so much on its own but uh you could use it in coordination with uh you know painting or water you know like different watercolor or kind of what have you in that respect and that maybe is more your speed so there's a lot of ways you can go with this or blending the fountain pen inks to come up with your own colors and then mixing that with some watercolor type stuff and you could have a lot of fun for uh, not too much money which you uh you know not that you're doing this to save money but you can get in the door without having spending a whole lot as opposed to like having to plunk down like 50 60 bucks just to start learning so i really do enjoy these We'll do some future videos on the Pilot Parallel series. Thanks for watching.